Are we going? Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Intro. Best test. Intro. It's 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. I think it's 10 actually. Ooh. I don't think that's that good. <laughs> so I did make that bit strong. <laughs> it's not strong. It's, I love lime, but it's um, limey. Mm. It is, it'll pucker your butthole, is what it will do. <laughs> <laughs> and your lips. Yeah, but I don't know what else to put in yours. Jess is diabetic, so I have to. What? Yeah. I'm just kidding. So I have to. Um, make it taste like shit. I have to make it taste like shit. Listen, that's how much of a good friend I am. I know. Hold I on, drink okay. a shit margarita just for you. Um, all right. <laughs> oh my God, that's <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> What? Last week was way better. What I did know. you do? First of all, I don't like this tequila that I used, and it's, it's the only one I have. Mm. We're just gonna have to keep downing it. It's all right. I, you know, do you want to make a new one? I've swallowed much worse. I'm sure you have. We'll just Mar power through. Mamas and Margs, episode two, <laughs> coming at we you. We made it. We made it. Yeah, we're gonna bring it. We're bringing it this week. I've had a shit morning, but She's it's had all a shit good. Morning. You know? I've had a mediocre morning. I absolutely disagree. Is your phone now just going to go off throughout the whole Sorry. thing? I think you might need to silence I'm that. Gonna, it is silence. I'm going to take it off the table. Um, there's a Disneyland situation. Basically, it's harder for her to get into Disney than it is Taylor Swift concert right now. Oh, fucking A. Let's start with that. That's on the list. Can I just say, love Taylor Swift. I would like to see her. Am I a diehard Taylor Swift fan? No. But I think it'd be an amazing show. Anyways, my niece is a diehard Swifty. Soup almost had like a panic attack when they announced that she was doing a tour. Immediately pre-registered, so I followed suit and I was like, "Yeah, I'll go to the concert. I want to yeah. do that." Yeah. So then they have two windows, right? They have a VIP window where you have to be like a verified fan or a Capital One holder. Sorry, what makes you a verified fan? The well, you had to do like this your stalker. Yeah. Essentially, okay. you had to like answer some questions about. Oh no, I'm just kidding. Stop. You okay. <laughs> no, you had like, to oh like you had to go on Ticketmaster and you had to fill out this questionnaire thing that basically proved you're not a robot and you're gonna like buy a bunch of tickets to then so. manipulate later, whatever. So I did that along with her, and I'm like, okay, cool. I can access these tickets two days ahead of general public. Hold on. Did you tell me to be the VIP? I did. I sent it to you. So, does that mean I'm VIP then? Well, you've already missed the window. Because now, not only, so I get the VIP, I get on 10 minutes before the window opens, have my browser ready to go, trying to figure out seats, have no idea what the tickets cost yet at this point, but I don't care. I'm like, I'm ready to go. Get in, straight away. Then it puts me in a queue and it says there are 2,000 plus people ahead of you. I'm 10 minutes ahead of the window. How is that even possible? Because everyone's 10 minutes ahead of the window. Well, motherfuckers booted me out twice. No. So then I was like, you know what? Whatever. My husband's like, it's SoFi Stadium. There's like 40,000 seats. Right. There, there are going to be plenty of tickets. Just let's just relax. We're not going to spend $1,500 or more anyway. So we're going to get the nosebleeds. There'll be plenty of those. Whatever. Fucking Ticketmaster crashed. Not only crashed, they oversold. They were only supposed oh, to sell. Really? Five million tickets for the pre, like the VIP thing. Mm -hmm. I think they sold like 14 million. They've what? oversold so many tickets. There's no tickets left, apparently. No tickets. Todd went on last night again to look and he's like, nothing. Can I just say, is this all a massive publicity stunt? But who is involved? Ticketmaster and Taylor Swift? She doesn't yeah. need any more publicity. She's fucking oh, top Oh, they charts. all want no. that publicity. And I mean, what better publicity than, <gasps> all my seats sold out. Oh my God, I crashed the system. I she broke the internet. She, well, you know what? Ella called that though. My niece said, holy shit, she's going to break the internet. Yeah. Oh my God. She's done a Kim Kardashian. I think it's mm. all a publicity stunt. I also don't love Taylor Swift. Go fuck yourself. I know that that was <laughs> going to get a strong reaction. I'm not even... I do like her and I'd like my 10-year-old, I prefer my 10-year-old to listen to her than like Nicki Minaj. But I, am I like in love with her? No, I'm sorry, I'm not. I mean, I'd see her in concert if someone gave me tickets, I'd go. But I'm not like 
I mean, I think she's good. She's great at what she does, not just good. She's great at what she does. But sometimes I'm like, it's a bit, I don't know. It's more the, um, like, you did this, I did that. Look at us now. Where are we at? It's all like, it's storytelling. It's, it's storytelling. Beautiful. We're, you know what? It's not I 90s just think back, r &B. Thank you. Okay. I think back to when <laughs> I was a kid and I was listening to Mariah Carey crying my eyes out with my three mirror. I had a three mirror like that. You're so vain. <laughs> no, I was crying so I could see myself crying at each angle to like Mariah You're Carey. You're so vain. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that to Taylor Swift. You absolutely can. You can't cry she's properly. All, she's all about like heartache and... Yeah, but it's a like, it's a nice, everything's a story, nice heartache. Whereas like Mariah was like, I'm a butterfly cocooning. And uh, it's like, it was more like... Ugh. What? Um, yeah, my things when I was a kid were just more raw. You sweat dripped down my balls. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was it was different. I love Mariah Carey. She's uh I mean Do you know how much she gets off her Christmas royalty? I'm sure she's gonna one million per year. But just ding 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 because it's ding. one of the best Christmas albums ever. Song. Album. Doesn't you have she her have... album? Doesn't she have a Christmas album? It's Probably. a whole album. But it's that one album. song. It's that one song. Yeah. It's Christmas. And she does a whole like, it's the 1st of November. You know what I was She's thinking? She's Marilyn Monroe of our time. I want to talk about Mariah for two things. First of all, you just reminded me of the album because I legit Which was one? picking Butterfly? up. No, just in general. I was picking up Finley the other day. Her at in school. general album, yeah. And on the way out, I passed this car who had a legit cd accordion file thing on his visor you Ooh, know i like that i like that a lot i didn't even know people still had cds or Do you know what? that's players. really weird when i was on the freeway the other day i looked over and i saw somebody putting a cd in isn't that weird that we both saw that recently i wonder if it's the same person second thing i'm going back to mariah because this was something i was going to talk about she had sex with nick's nick cannon Nick Cannon. That's where I'm going with this. Nick Cannon has got pregnant. on pregnant again. He's working on a baker's dozen. It's number twelve. So I it was one 14. more. No, I think it's twelve. Mm, fact check again. Fact check. I'm pretty sure he's baby number twelve. I don't know what baby mama number this is. Who would have sex with him and not wrap it up? I don't know. What? Somebody that wants to have Nick Cannon's baby. But what? Why? And get in the because then it's but you all know out that the there. money ultimately is going down and down and down and down. So it's Where like is his money coming from? Is he still that host on America's Got Talent? I or? have no idea. I don't even. I don't even know how. But he what got... is he doing? Like, why is why does he just keep he's... spreading his seed? I mean, he's I... not showing up with, with all these kids. You know what I mean? He's not going to be a present dad for 12 kids with different moms in different ha states or whatever. No. Is he? No, he just... I don't know if he's doing it with the intention of... It's a publicity stunt. He's going to have, like, a whole village But look at... Um, what's his name? Eddie Murphy. How many kids does he have? He has a bucket load of kids. Does he? Yeah. With the same mom? No. <laughs> Dear Lord. No. One of them scary spice. Oh, I do remember them. Yeah. I do remember them. They together. had a tumultuous relationship. I think he had a tumultuous relationship with everybody. <laughs> I think that comes with the par for the course. You know, I saw online the other day. So I follow this person, Humans of New York. It's some person goes around, not just New York, because he's gone and traveled or he, she, I don't know if it's a he or she, goes around <laughs> and goes up to random people and just ask them about their life. And then he like posts these stories about it. So it oh could my God, be like, I love that. it's the most amazing, fascinating thing. I would love to do that. There is, you should look it up because the stories on there are incredible. This one that he just posted was this guy in New York who is a sperm donor, but he's got this whole system set up where it's not like a sperm donor from a company that has this protocol. He does it private? He does it private. Shut And it's up. like word of mouth. And he said, 
some women he's had sex with, like that have asked him to. Other women, he's like, I'll get a fresh sample and then meet them and hand it to them in the car window. Shut because the amount of up. money it costs to get like... That's right. So he... Oh, right. But it's like um, all the uh, college students that were donating their eggs on Craigslist. Oh, yeah. Eggs or sperm? Eggs. Oh, I didn't know that. Or maybe not. I think it was sperm. Sperm's way easier. I, you know, I almost got a job at a sperm bait. Oh my god! <laughs> Did you have I to would fluff have, them up? I would have been the profiler, like screen them out if they. Did you have to wear a uniform? Well, I didn't actually. They Was offered it, like, me the job. Really tight, skinny. They offered me the job, and then I also got another job offer, and I opted what's out. What's better than that? Come on, what's better than being a sperm donor receptionist? Anything? What? So interesting. I to mean, me. imagine the men you would meet. Yeah, weirdos that come in to donate sperm. Back to this guy, because this guy, how would you feel about this? Here's a sperm donor. He's known in the, not black market, but whatever, this community as a good donor. He has like 20 some kids already. Well, they're not his kids. But this is the, the thing. His, part of his um, arrangement, mm -hmm. he only charges like barely anything but he wants to be involved with the kids' lives. So it's not just like a donate, here's my sperm, go have your kid, and that's it, that's my contribution. He wants to be involved, not financially involved, but just involved because he likes the idea of having a, a whole community, community, a community that are his spawn. Right, that he doesn't pay for them. No. He doesn't have to change their diapers or do any of the manual work or show up to be a dad. He just wants to call round and be like, uncle. I don't know. I think there's a whole lot of, I'd rather pay the thousands of dollars for somebody to just be like, peace out. This is not, you have nothing to do with this. I just need one little contribution, prick. one little, just prick. the tip and then Sometimes, move on. But the tip doesn't count. I'm sure there's been many a pregnancies that have happened just with the tip. Mm. It's past the threshold. Yeah, tip absolutely doesn't count. No. It comes out of the tip. That's all you need. You just need it's, the tip. It's too graphic. It? <laughs> <laughs> right. There wasn't much news this week. Um, I kind of struggled there was some. a little bit with my research. I mean, Giselle. Tom I'm Brady. sorry, say that again. Giselle? Giselle. Isn't that her name? Giselle. 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 It's Giselle. Oh, I'm sorry. You Giselle. say the funniest thing sometimes. Giselle. Giselle. What? It's not Giselle. It's Giselle. Bunch them. Okay. Well, I was absolutely going to botch the last name. Let's be honest. Well, I think I just did. But, um, okay. So she's been pictured away in Puerto Rico mm -hmm. with her <laughs> jiu-jitsu trainer and all i can think in my head is that um movie that i love couples retreat when he's like down and you do the yoga like this and push harder yes you know that guy that what are you serious i'm serious are you oh my god it's so good it's one of my favorite movies i'll put it in the queue please do oh my god it's so good who's in it like everybody Kristen bell the guy that I love, the what's that guy that I love? He's got short hair. He's in, that narrows it down. No, but he's always in the funny things. He oh, he's in Ozark. Jason Bateman. Jason Bateman. Love Jason Bateman. It's, right, love and it's him. got um, Kristen Bell and um, oh, it's just got it, it, it's, it's got, got everyone. No, it's Vince Vaughn. Okay, right. It's yeah. got a great cast, but basically all these couples are married. And they, apart from one couple that think they're fine, but then they end up kind of... They're going, the ones with the most fucked up issues. No, actually. Well, no. But they all go on a couple's retreat. Mm. And there is a yoga guy there who is like, just like this big body. And he just like does this yoga with them. And with all the women, he's like pushing them and making them. Nice. Yeah, it's super, so hilarious. So you think Giselle is Gis with him. Giselle. Giselle is getting her I a hundred percent she's getting her groove on. I think she's oh. been getting it on for a while with this dude. I feel like he's, Tom they Brady. Did, they did a front page. Oh I know I saw. Oh you seen it? I haven't seen it. What does it look like? Are you talking about her in the jujitsu? Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, they look like they're on a beach, to be honest. I think she's wearing sweatpants or something. How dare she? Why cover Good for up her, that beauty? Though. Oh, 100%. I feel like, personally, he seems a bit of a robot to me. He does seem boring. He seems super snoozy. He's snoozy, but not only that, He's, he's a, a professional athlete, which means he's going to go to bed early. Mm -hmm. He's going to eat correctly. He won't have any beer. I mean, who wants to be with somebody that literally has to be in bed by, I don't know, what time he has to go to bed? What time do you think? I don't know. I mean, he was retired. And he never deviates. To, he ever deviates. He didn't even have to go back. He was retired. Why? I think that's an ego thing. No, he retired because of her. That's the whole reason they split up. Is because she doesn't want, she didn't want him to. I thought he already retired and then he came out of retirement because he wanted to go back. And then what? she divorced him. Or no, split. what happened was she's sick of him playing football. She wants him yeah. to retire. So he retired and then he was like, I can't live my life this way and went straight back to work. And she was like, okay, now I'm done. Mm. Does that make sense? Is it that does. what you said to me or not? It is exactly Sorry what I said. Sorry about that. But obviously he needs that to feel complete like and fulfilled. Yeah, which I mean, at the end of the day, all athletes have a problem with that. And and, and people who are so, whose career is their identity. I, you know, I, I do understand that. Um, maybe he just needs a really good therapist. Everyone does. I think everyone could use a little good bit That's of therapy. That's true, it's true debt. But she's doing her. Giselle's on the beach doing yoga poses in her tracksuit bottoms with Hello, get in this position. How does she meet the jiu-jitsu? This he, is what I want to know. Um, DM'd her. He slid into her DMs. No, but um, maybe his agent met with her agent. Or they met at a party. I don't know. Hmm. But point being, he was teaching her jiu-jitsu. So then she got him to teach the kids. And now he's like, mm, so I she, bet she, the kids love him. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's the teacher, the guru. And now I'm sure he spends a lot of time with those kids. Poor Tom. Poor Tom nothing. I'm sure he's going to be just fine. I always find it interesting when you get to that level of fame. Like, it's all... Obviously, if she met him or hired him, whatever. Do you hear my stomach, by the I way? really do. It's off-putting. It's sorry. It's like, I don't know what's happening. So it's Maybe you just need to drink more. I know. So Giselle, okay, so she wasted no time. She's out, checked out, onto this jujitsu, get him buff, in a headlock. Mean buff. Whatever. Dude. Who would take who? The jujitsu or Tom? Who's mm. gonna win in a fight? For sure the jujitsu. Oh, I'd go for Tom. I don't think he's got enough you know. Oh, he's he's beefy. I don't think he's got the fight. I think the jiu-jitsu guy would choke him out in about five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I would want to see this. Would be a tap out. <laughs> you know, speaking of um, <clears throat> Giselle. 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 Not, oh my God. It's different accents. Did you see there was a thing about Meghan Markle? Oh, I don't want to talk about her. Meghan Markle, who, who, Markle. Was, who was apparently has developed a British accent. Oh, yeah, of course she has. Why not? Hmm? Why not? Why not? Is she not what? allowed to adapt a British accent? Her no, she's not. Why? Because she's not British. She's and, she, and she doesn't live in England. So mm. she's living in literally next to Oprah in Montecito. So you're not allowed to Even use different I, accents? Even I. No, you're not allowed to use different accents. Why? Well, I use them all the time, so... Oh, well, it doesn't really <laughs> sound very good, No, though. I know. I need to practice. I actually Don't can practice. Do, I can do a pretty good one. No, you can't. I can. No one can. I can't. It's... I stop. Can't. Stop it. <laughs> it's literally my Oi. husband's pet hate of all time is Americans trying to do British accents. Well, you know what my pet pet is? All right, Mary Poppins. British doing American accents. <laughs> <laughs> but Hugh Laurie is amazing. I don't know who that is. The guy of House. The guy that played House. Oh, is he British? See? Is he British? Yeah, I, know. He's I British. never watched that show. But... You never watched it? No, it's another one. <laughs> Don't add that to your list. It's got like 8,000 series. I won't. Trust me. I have other things that are way <laughs> farther ahead of the queue. 
Speaking of, do you know tonight, going back to tonight, Christmas from last week, tonight. Ryan Reynolds and Will Ferrell. <gasps> I want to see that. Is tonight. it? Yeah. Oh, I so want to see it. that. It's in my calendar. Oh, stream it. Oh, it's not in the movie theater. I don't think so. That's a Maybe. shame. No, it might be. I mean, like, I want the option of sitting on the couch, like, and I, but I also want the option of going to the cinema. It could be. I don't know. No, I think you're right. When is too it. early for Christmas jumpers? Things that say, like, Merry or, like, what's up? Ho, ho, ho. When's too early for that? I think really whatever fills your Twinkie. Okay, I almost did, to be honest, as a joke, I almost wear my <laughs> ugly Christmas sweater today. <laughs> I have been thinking about it. So we are on the same wavelength. But I feel like an acceptable is like after Thanksgiving. Right, well, in America, you do have Thanksgiving. That's a good little barometer. But in England, we don't have that. So you could be like, I mean, the Christmas adverts are on TV. You know, obviously everything's up in the stores, so it's like, oh, it's such a. Just oh, wear it. Just get it out. It is right there. Where? It's all lined up in a row. This, this. Why do you have stomach? so much sequins? I do have a lot of sequins. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you wearing? Well, these I've got to be sequins? honest. I haven't worn that, and I haven't, I haven't worn them yet. They're just stuff that I oh hope one day gosh. I'd be able to like go out I have the want to go out and then I don't and then suddenly the sequins are being wasted talking of wasted mm. last time we did this I learned two things number one my hairdresser is going to be really really annoyed with me because I just went like that and it just is not a representation of the great work that she does she is amazing she's also does my hair too that's true <laughs> second of all as it went on we we just went off on different tangents and the margarita went down and it just always leads to that place. A place of joy. A place of dicks. But I'm thinking that we need to make a head start of this before we start. So that's interesting from the beginning and not just like halfway through. We're going to bring dicks out straight out of the gate. <laughs> yeah, but I need it. I need to drink more in order to do that. Why? No one wants a dick who's like when you're sober. I don't know if that's true. All I can think about is that downstairs is your mother-in-law. <laughs> Stop. Why would you bring that into the conversation? Sober me up, why don't you? I'm sorry. Let's go on to our next subject. Next subject. Ba -ba 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 -ba! Pete Davidson. Oh, and his dick? He's definitely got a big dick. Oh, no, he, they already said it's Nick Nine Inches. It's Nick Nine Inches? It's like Nine Inches. <laughs> it's like Nine Inches. Oh, stop I don't know it. if that's full it. Yeah, that. No, I saw it. You somebody, saw it. Somebody confirmed it. There was something written. No, stop it. Anyway, do you remember last week you did that massive tangent story about Brad Pitt's English girlfriend that is not English because her name is literally Rata Jachkowski. She's from England. She she, okay, she's, she's the English. Emily Rakachkowski, mm -hmm. the English girl. Just call her Emily Rats. Emily, Emily Rata. Rats. Rat touch. <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna call it um m rat but that's who i was talking about m rat but yeah but Brad now it's mojo okay and now, now she's she's with um p davidson so question she's hide the sausage <laughs> yeah within a week so brad pitt or pete davidson oh yeah what i want to say is that he would be so fun oh absolutely yeah yeah because men don't get it men are like why pete davidson what's the big deal and i'm like well he seems like the type of dude that actually would be quite a gentleman he does and he's cute and he's young and, and he's, he's funny. funny he's funny oh my gosh I yes mean, there is you could have the most like handsome face chiseled body if you can make a girl laugh literally they'll be throwing their panties at you with it's true. Reason. Are you just thinking about that <laughs> night of four seasons? That guy we met was funny, but I still wasn't going to his hotel room. He was not funny. He was he, funny. He was not funny. I found him hilarious. What name one thing he said that was funny? I can't remember anything he said to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That might be a night that we need to 
always remember. Can I just say, I'm going to go on another tangent because one of my favorite moments of that evening was when we were <laughs> in the bathroom and there was a huge Russian Jewish, and I say this because that's legit what it was, huge wedding. Huge. It was amazing. Four I, I was, it literally was like the Met Gala as people were walking yeah. in. Amazing the ball dresses, gowns. Honest, I was I was blown away. It was amazing. But my favorite was we used the restroom. And you know, it's a wedding. So there's grandmothers and mothers and aunts and everything. And we were in the restroom and there was a woman in her 70s that Leanne was like, oh my God, I just can't get over these dresses. Did you have that made? And she was like, no, I bought it in the store. And there's <laughs> Leanne, 70 plus woman. Fuck off! <laughs> This woman's face was like, oh, who is this person in costume? me? <laughs> That's true. But I also took a selfie with an 80-year-old man that night. God love him. Uh, we connected over World War II. I, I mean... How long did you talk to uh, him? Quite a while. Oh but, I mean, his whole family were, like, trying to shoo him away from me. But I was like, no, we are... We lo I looked into his soul that night. I did. Okay. I saw his soul. And then I selfied with him and... Let's just say an emotional farewell to Ellen Pompeo from Grey's Anatomy. Oh, yeah. Was that 19 seasons or something? 19 seasons. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it's never going to be the same, is it, without her? Well, I have to be honest. I jumped off that bandwagon. I did too. Many, 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 many years ago. Me too. Because when you change an entire cast, it's a different show. Except because for Ellen. She, yeah, but she was like the only one left. Yeah. But now if she's gone, it really is. I mean, the whole show was centered around her. I realized that it's the, you know, the formula works because of, you know, the formula of the script and the stories. But you you just get new characters in. To be honest, that original cast man, that was gold. Oh, absolute absolutely. Absolute gold. McDreamy? Oh, McSteamy. McSteamy, yeah. Oh, man. McDreamy, McSteamy. It was just always McSteamy for me. McDreamy was too wet. McDreamy would like do this with his hands all the time. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I say that is because my dad always used to have a really limp handshake and before he'd handshake, he'd do this. No, your dad, no. I know. My dad was a, and he was a, you know, he was a dude, but he'd go to, go to shake someone's hand. It was just a running joke. So we'd always, so I feel like McSteamy would be. He'd be a hard shaker. He'd. McSteamy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He wouldn't shake you. He'd just pick you up. Mm. But McDreamy might cry after sex. Oh, he for sure. But you know what, McDreamy? You know, was it Patrick? What's his Patrick name? Patrick Dempsey. Patrick Dempsey. He would absolutely cry after yeah, sex. He would. Because he, that role, to be honest, prior to that role, he had no sex appeal whatsoever. And I think that I opened a lot of doors for him. Right. To do what, like one movie? Did he even do one movie? He, he did. did. Oh, he did like a rom com or something, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I mean. Like he was like that nerdy guy. He, yeah. He was in an old movie. Was it Can't Buy Me Love? That might not have been popular overall on the side of the pond. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Um, never heard of it. I think he was in that, but he was like a nerdy guy, little nerdy kid, and then somehow convinced this hot chick to like love him so i feel like now mm. he stepped into that role as mcdreamy he always had a good head of hair too that he has good hair yeah you can't fault a good head of hair no but that's or a good bald man such as such as the original who well you know who i can't think of right now um bruce willis oh bruce willis never did it for me Really? Yeah. We have such different tastes. For... Okay. I'm going to switch gears. I'm going to cut this <coughs> up anyways so we can figure out that. We need to shake it out. So, apparently you do that. It, you know, they were saying that, like, dogs shake out and that humans should shake it out. We should shake. And apparently it moves the emotion around the body. Did you know that? No, it so messes up my hair. I think I just tweaked my neck. Oh, oh, did you hear that? Lord. I'm going to talk about going back to concerts. Oh. Harry Styles. Oh, and a Skittle in his eye. Who throws a Skittle? And how close uh, must it team? have been 
to throw a Skittle and hit him in the eye. <laughs> and also, did he, they immediately, did they have cameras in the stadium to figure out who threw the Skittle and what, I what is the ramifications? Worse things have been done than Skittles being thrown. I mean, that I come like from a, a country where bottles are thrown. Hmm? They throw bottles. Yeah. Glass bottles. Probably not anymore, but no. when I was growing up. Yeah. I don't even think they serve glass. <laughs> I'm just saying a Skittle is like a pebble. Imagine that getting chucked hard enough to get up on stage landing in your eye. Listen, Tom Brady's going to have some competition there because that's a, a good thrower. That is a good thrower. Look, Maybe they launched it. If you were a performer up on stage playing a concert to all your fans, they're there to see you, and someone threw a Skittle at your face and they hit you in the eye, <laughs> would you just walk? I would walk off. I'd be like, fuck off. Wow, that's a bit dramatic. I would. I'd be like that some teen, either that somebody like by I accident, like, hey, look at me, I love you. <gasps> somebody, some teenage girl right now is crying her eyes out or loving it. Because she'll Talking always. Of your niece, by the way. Yes. She messaged me. Oh, yeah. She and she was like, I S D K dying L U D 925 D K 1. <laughs> They're all about the shorthand. Dude, I need some translation sometimes. I'm usually pretty good about figuring it out. I was trying, but I just don't have time to figure it out. Google no. needs a way underneath, you know, where it says, would you like me to translate? Yeah. Yes, please translate it for me. Didn't understand the fuck. I was like, I just replied and I put, LOL. LOL. Thanks. Because I think it was a compliment. I was like, thanks. That's awesome. Can all your friends follow us, please? And she was like, SDKTY. I was like, okay. It, it's a whole new language. She tried to send my mom, who, you know, is not technical, technologically her, savvy. But she tried to send my mom a text message one time. It was on a group one. And it was like that. It was like coded shorthand. And I just interjected into the group. And I said, yeah, she's never going to understand what you're saying. Mom, this is what Ella's saying. And then broke it down because she was, and then later she said, yeah, she sent me that. I didn't, even, I didn't understand that. <laughs> you send me some. There was, what, there no, was I one. Don't. Yeah. No, I you don't. Yeah. No, I don't. You sent me one, one time, it was a couple years ago, that was FFS. And I thought it meant fuck, fuck shit. Or <laughs> that's right that's right and you were like that. it means for fuck's sake and i was like oh it's another <laughs> another one i've just learned and there's one that people say all the time sml that's what oh smash me later <laughs> i think it's sml it's something that's always out there and i was like that's what, does what that i mean? think she sent that to me sml what does it mean what does it mean what Let would you make it let's card. let's make up our own oh dude can we ml do we want to make that one or we want to just make our own random shit own random shit okay we're gonna we're gonna percolate on that one mm. i don't give a fuck oh that's already out there <laughs> jtt what's that just the tip <laughs> <laughs> JTT. 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 Are you down with me? Just kidding. Okay. 